Greetings, this is Earthman, Origami's Living Soil. Truly blessed to be alive this day, and so are you. We're both blessed, and God loves us, and man, we can't get any better than that. Um, as long as we got breath in our lungs, there is always hope. Now, what we're talking about and what we're looking at here is Bokashi, and this is the second part of our uh, looking at what uh, effective microbes are, and we're going to talk today about um, the second part of the EM uh, trio uh, is uh, phototropic or photosynthetic bacteria, um, non-sulfur uh, purple bacteria is the most common, it's similar to algae, um, a very nice product, uh, and I mean nice bacteria to have. There is some nice products out there. Um, one is uh, called Quantum Light that makes uh, a really good purple bacteria, non-sulfur purple bacteria. And um, I think another one's called Photosynthesis Plus, but it's by a company called Microbe Life. And uh, they've really got excellent product. I highly recommend them when you need your own uh, non-sulfur purple bacteria, you know, your photosynthetic bacteria, phototropic bacteria. So what do these do in the combination of the effect of microbes? Well, uh, what they do is um, they use a wider spectrum of the sun's energy for photosynthesis. And therefore, they're more efficient than plants uh, at performing photosynthesis. This means more energy for your plant and for your um, bacteria that are coexisting with it. Um, they literally turn uh, energy from the sun into what they call ATPs, or uh, better known as just food molecules that are not only beneficial to uh, other bacteria and the plants, but to us too, believe it or not. Um, this uh, phototropic bacteria uh, has a, a bunch of different uh, performance characteristics, such as it helps improve a nutrient uptake with that energy that they pull from the sun. It helps uh, the the food to get up to the uh, up to the leaves uh, from the root system faster and quicker. Um, it improves the plant's photosynthesis uh, photosynthesis uh, capabilities by at being able to absorb other light spectrums um, and draw in more energy for that plant to uh, be able to produce sugars and carbohydrates and mass and fruit eventually or flowers or whatever. Uh, it helps improve the root and shoot growth. Um, it fortifies the plant's natural defense system by making it healthy, by giving the plant what it needs, uh, by producing a lot of um, uh, rich soil um, that uh, uh, you know has a lot of uh, like antibodies for our plants and nutrients and uh, antioxidants that our plants use. I guess if you want to look at it from a plant point of view, they um, they also uh, this is why you know the, the other bacteria kind of uh, work well with it because like I said they take CO two from the uh, atmosphere and they turn it into carbohydrates for the other bacteria to thrive on. They also are a nitrogen fixer. They take uh, fixed nitrogen out of the atmosphere through the stomatas of the plant and, apply, and put it back into the plant and back into the soil for the plant to use down the road. So they help uh, an intake of um, nitrogen and um, they promote water production and retention. I'm not sure how that works, how they do that, but for my research, that's what they do. So uh, the purple non-sulfur bacteria or the photo, uh, phototropic bacteria or photosynthetic bacteria, um, and, um, you know, they just, they're uh, amazing bacteria for your soil by themselves or in combination with the other three bacteria that form effective microbes. So this is Earth Man from Origami's Living Soil. May you have a blessed day, and may God just uh, richly just, um, you know, bless your family, your plants, and your life.